Provo Beast doing another install today. Today we're doing a 72 K5 Blazer. Pretty cool. We're doing a four channel amplifier that will be under the seat, a 10 inch sub, and we'll be powering the front speakers as well with the other two channels. In this video we'll be showing how to run power, ground, RCAs, and how to hook everything up to the existing Pioneer radio that the previous installer has installed. First thing here under the hood, now depending on your blazer, a lot of the time they're so different or customized. We found access through this existing grommet right there. It just goes into the body of the vehicle, into the cabin. And then we ran the power wire down, we'll zip tie and make this nice. And we'll install our inline fuse about right here. And here's our battery and our positive terminal. The way that wire came out is just right up here. You'll just be able to fill that hole. And then this carpet pulls back. We ran it down along the seam. We took off the plate here, just four Phillips, depending on your car. And then since the carpet's in pieces, pull that back. Our amp will fit right under the seat here, all hidden away. All right, so we've decided the best place for our amp is just right there. Kind of get in the spot so you can kind of see there. Right underneath. Doesn't get in the way of a seat slide or anything. Here's our fuse, all in there. I'm just gonna go in and put a little anchor so this wire doesn't move. It's out of the way of the closing mechanism. All cleaned up, negatives off the battery, so we're clear to work. Put the positive right there. So basically down underneath the hood. Now at this point. Oh man, it's kind of dark, I'm sorry. Made a, there's a small hole in the carpet. And I ran my RCAs and my speaker wire. Provide, the RCAs provide the signal from the radio to the amp so the amp knows what to play in the speaker wire. Um, I actually ran it back out from the amp and I'm gonna tap it into the uh, the wire the previous installer ran to that goes to the door so I don't have to trace down the wire in the door panels. So that's what I'm doing at this point. What I've done is I've just run it up underneath the carpet. This carpet is loose enough, at least on this model. I'm able to just tuck it. Comes out here and then I'm gonna fish it up through up to the stereo cavity. Speaker wire output, it goes right into the wiring. This wire right here goes to the door. And same with this other pair, it goes to the door. So my, did that, get everything out. My remote turn on the wire, got hooked in the air as well. We're good to go. So we've got power, we've got ground, we've got the remote turn on wire, RCAs and the speaker wire are all done. So let's get the radio put back together. All right, so I slid the radio back in to its cavity there and plugged in the RCA cables and the wiring harness. Um, basically, as you remember, everything runs up here underneath the carpet. We've got the RCA cables, the speaker wires. Then we've got our amp here. There's our speaker wires power and ground and our remote turn on wire just all cleaned up here on the other side it's kind of a tight little spot got our RCAs in there super clean and like I said the let's see if I can show you here there is the ground right there and I just put a little hole in the carpet so it runs underneath the carpet to the ground on the amp. So that's power, ground, RCAs, speaker wire, that's everything that you'll need for this setup here. That's it. it sounds really good. We went ahead and actually put in the subwoofer down here as well. We did an unboxing of the setup so you can go ahead and check that out on the channel. Super clean. If you have any questions about this install just post a comment below i'm glad you're enjoying the videos let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see um, again thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one